Hi guys, hi, welcome back. Hi my fellow June Vlogs, welcome back to my channel. Um, excuse the lighting, it's a bit dim today, but I thought I'd just still try and film a video for you guys because today I have an unboxing and I'm so excited to share this with you because today I have got an exciting video. I always say this about every video, but be I do this is an exciting one, I promise, because it is a little handbag unboxing, not a reveal. It is a true unboxing of a brand new bag that I purchased in store. I haven't really bought a brand new bag as of late except the most recent one which was a bit of a fail so this one I feel like I'm definitely keeping and um, I mean I have to because the store policy uh, is no returns it's only exchanges which I didn't realize but anyways um this bag I have actually been thinking about for a little while and if you follow me on Instagram you probably know what it is but before I get onto the unboxing I just wanted to say hi to anyone who is new here hi welcome my name is june i am a doctor by day and i make videos about handbags and lingerie in my spare time so if you are a fellow handbag lover like myself you would love it here so please join this family by subscribing and hitting the notification bell like this video comment down in the comment section below to let me know if you're new here and share this with any of your friends and family if they like handbags too so without further ado let's get on to the video so you guys are you ready Ready for it let me know in the comment section what you think it is because I know some of you guys know what it is if you follow me on Instagram I've been like literally asking about this bag for the longest time and you know I've been trying to decide between a couple of different colors on this so I finally picked a color but here we go it is a Prada unboxing it is actually a Prada bag you guys my first purchase from Prada and I'm really really excited I do find that they're quite lovely in the store um, no complaints about Prada except the fact that it is a bag in a bag not a box I did ask for a box but um, they quickly said no and I was like okay never mind oh good <laughs> um, they basically said that Prada don't Prada bags don't come in boxes because they don't recommend storing it in a box and I mean honestly I'm not storing it in a box I just want the box for the unboxing experience <laughs> um, all right so I've got a Prada bag um, and this bag I've actually been ummy and I'm for the longest time like I said on Instagram I've asked you guys so many times which color you think I should get it in which material to get it in as well and I've finally decided on a piece so let me just get onto the bag and then I'll explain a bit more about how I came to this decision so are you ready so comes in the bag not a box <laughs> for packaging I'm gonna have to give them like a three or four I mean it should come with a box like I know you don't recommend storing it in a box but it's a bag. Shouldn't it just come in a cute little box like a present? But inside the bag, I've got this receipt here. Um, it's got some care card and booklets. Um, and I didn't realize this, but if you purchase a Prada bag, you actually don't, you can't return it. You can only exchange it and only within 14 days, which is interesting. So I've got the bag here. It comes in this um, soft, uh, I guess, soft cotton dust bag that says Prada. Are you guys ready? You guys know what it is, but can you guess the colour? Are you ready? So let me introduce to you guys my latest handbag addition to my family and that is the... Da -da 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 -da. It is the um, Prada Re-Edition 2005 in the Cameo um, Safiano leather with the gold hardware. So I finally bit the bullet and I did decide on the Cameo. I couldn't decide between this and the green and also when I went in store I saw the nylon and I was like oh do I want the nylon but I did finally decide on this beautiful beigey pink color and this is the re-edition which means it does come with a little strap so the strap comes in the bag and let me just show you the the, the dust bag on this one's actually completely different to the dust bag of the bag so I don't know why that is so this bag does come with a strap you guys have seen these many many times before and then a little pouch just there in the same color um, and so you can basically attach it and it becomes like a little crossbody um, shoulder bag which is amazing and so this is the bag that we have to share with you so I have actually been eyeing this bag for a fair while now um, ever since I got 
the most amazing um, nylon bag ever and that is the Prada Nylon in the black. This is a vintage style and I got this from DCT Vintage as a gift for a video and honestly since receiving it I've not stopped wearing it. It is the most carefree bag ever. If I could recommend a bag, it definitely would be this. I was actually initially just going to get another Prada nylon, very similar to this, but in the cameo color or cameo color, um, or like a nice bright color. But then when I went in store and tried this on, I really did love the crossbody strap on it. And um, I really kind of love like how it's got the gold chain. So I was thinking of getting the Safiano leather um, if I was going to get it in this bag, but I really could not decide side on the I think it was like an emerald green or like forest green or this color what eventually tipped me over the edge was when I tried on the green it looked really good crossbody but I didn't love it as a little sort of shoulder bag like this which is primarily how I wanted to use it I have so many like crossbody sort of bags with a strap which I do love as a feature of this bag but I knew that I've been loving wearing my bags like as a little um, under the arm shoulder bag and when I tried the green on that way I didn't love it so I loved it as a crossbody but not as a little shoulder bag um so I did actually decide on the cameo color but then I couldn't decide between the cameo in the nylon or the cameo in the leather and then when I tried them on side by side I just loved this one more as a sort of again shoulder bag it was a bit more like nighttime it was a little bit more fancy and dressy on its own but then with this shoulder strap it actually um you know made it more casual and I just felt like it would be more versatile and also I felt like the nylon would get dirty fairly easily because it's a light material. Um, I think if you were going to get the nylon version, the black would be a better way to go or some sort of darker shade. Um, if they came out with a nylon in the green, the forest green, I'm getting it. 100% I'm getting it. Or like a, a dark brown. Ooh. Um, I think they did. Like, I think they came out with the cocoa color, but I, that obviously wasn't in store. But anyway, so I did decide on this after much deliberation. And you guys know I did um and ah about this bag for the longest time on Instagram. I literally posted about it 50 million times. But for those who haven't seen this bag, basically it is just a plain pouch like this. The cameo color is like a dark pinky beigey brown there was another sort of beige color but it was a lot it was a lot less brown a lot more neutral like a lot more pinky which for me I think the brown color of this looks better on me um, and then I love that it's got the gold hardware on it um, opening it up the interior is fairly basic there's no pockets inside it but it does have just Prada lining uh, all over it and um, and then you've got a beautiful pocket. It comes with this um, gold strap that you can actually detach, which is awesome because I have a lot of shoulder bags that I could put this on, which is a huge pro and they would match perfectly with this. So you can detach it or keep it on. I kind of like it on, but I know that a lot of people hate like the sound that it makes. So that's just um, optional and then it does have this little clochette I don't know why I don't it's fairly pointless to me like it's just I think it's just a ring like so I don't what what are you gonna attach onto that if anyone actually makes use of this let me know because obviously it's just for decoration so that's that there and then the strap here now the strap color I don't love I'm not gonna lie I wish the strap color wasn't like this greeny beige I wish it was definitely more of like a like pinky brown beige it would look so much better but anyways and then it does come with this little pouch here which I think is the most useful thing in this pandemic um what I like about this is I do think you can put credit cards in this one compared to like the Louis Vuitton I think you can let me just check um so this is my um authenticity card here so um it's got I bought it from the Prada Chadstone Boutique 1st of July 2021 and so you can just put that in there and so yeah so this actually does fit credit cards which is good unlike the Louis Vuitton 
um, coin purse, which you can't put credit cards in. You can only put like coins. And you can also put your Apple earpods in here, your mask, your hand sanitizer. So very, very convenient. But I think you just need to remember that you put it in here because I've heard like some people just forget. Um, the other thing that I've noticed, which is completely new or I feel like is new because I haven't seen this before. This actually now has a little... Well, firstly, this detaches. Also, something new that I've noticed is that it's got this little strap here and there's a little hook on the strap now, which I love. I think the first edition, it didn't have it and it would just dangle around, which would drive me insane. I like that you can actually hook this on here and then it's just part of the belt. Like, it's just part of the strap, it won't move. It's, it's stuck on, which... I think is awesome well done Prada thank you for including that and so now it's just fixed and you don't have to worry about it so that is the bag you guys very very cute color I see myself mostly wearing this bag as a little um, top handle um, sort of shoulder carry because I have quite a lot of crossbody bags I think I'll still keep the strap there for convenience but yeah I can basically see myself mostly carrying this bag just like this so let me just show you what this looks like I'll just show you so this is definitely how i would most likely use the bag super duper cute lovely neutral color um believe it or not i don't actually have many bags in this neutral color which surprised me and that was also one of the reasons why i sort of swayed towards this color whereas i do have quite a few green bags now not that dark forest green but definitely like green so yeah i thought this would be a nice neutral color also this is a harder color to come by so it sort of just came together for me and then if i just showed you how i wear this bag here so this is how this bag would look on me just like that. This is currently on the shortest strap setting right now because I am quite petite and I like my crossbody bags quite high up. Obviously, you can lengthen or um, shorten this bag, which is awesome. Um, so you can sort of make it a bit longer if you're a lot taller. Um, I do wish that it could go even shorter because one of the things I've seen people do with this strap is actually wear it as a little belt. So what they've done is they've taken this off and then worn this as a little belt some in some way like this I've seen people wear it as a belt like this and then obviously just have leave this hanging there so just like that but for me it's actually very loose so I can't shorten it in any way like to actually functionally use it as a belt let me just see if I can even use this as a belt right now Okay, so as you can see, very loose, but I mean, so for me, obviously this belt is a no-go because it's too loose, but I mean, you can still wear it, it's just not going to be holding up any pants for, for me, um, but if you're, like obviously if you've got a wider waist than me, you can, and then, you know, you can just put this little thing somewhere, just attach it, and you've got like a little belt bag type of thing but then also since this that belt that loop at the back you could actually put like a thin belt and just wear it um, on a belt you can wear this definitely but I just don't know if I could wear this as a belt which is sad I wish it was a bit shorter like I wish I could just shorten it a bit more so that I could wear it as a belt so that's just another option really cool very functional so with this bag you just get so many pieces and I just think for the price it's so totally worth it so let me just show you the price so this is the bandolero safiano lux in the cameo and the price was 2650 australian dollars which is a really really good price for a leather bag so um you guys know Louis Vuitton like canvas bags are upwards of $3,000 and that's canvas. This is a totally functional leather bag um, with a strap and a, and a pouch and I just think that this is such a good purchase, such a good buy and I would totally recommend it. If you want me to do like the first impressions do let me know but I'm so excited to own this bag. I can't wait to wear it. I'm definitely going to be wearing it like this. It's so cute 
and I have no regrets about the color whatsoever. I think the color is really, really beautiful, um, and I'm glad I got it in this neutral beigey pink rather than the um, green. And if I was like completely loaded, sure, I would not hesitate to buy that bag also, but. This, I think, in the long term would um, be a lot more versatile and would suit a lot more occasions. So, yeah, that is the bag there. Um, that is my handbag reveal slash mini review. If you want me to do, like, a first impressions of this bag, do let me know. Um, I will put a link to the bag in the info bar below. This bag was a little bit difficult to come by, but do just check the website and um, sign up and put it on your uh, wish list and it will notify you. Alternatively, if you have a Prada store nearby, just pop in name down and they will actually contact you when um, the color arrives so yeah let me know what you guys think give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if there is anything in particular you want to see from me please let me know if you want me to do like a first impression slash review um, in like a month's time or two do let me know as well if you want to see how I style this bag do follow me on Instagram because that is where you'd see a lot of my handbags being worn and styled but that is it from me you guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if there is someone who is interested in the bag and you think they would benefit from this review please don't forget to share this video um, and as always hope you're having a wonderful week or weekend and I'll see you guys in my next one bye